Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Goey, and today we are doing another Pokemon plushie tutorial. Today we are doing Eevee. So Eevee, of course, is one of the main characters, again, from Generation 1, who is also featuring in Pokemon Go. Now, Eevee does evolve into eight different, I guess, evolutions. So if you want to see any of them, let me know down in the comments below and we'll try and work on some. So far, we already have a design for Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Umbreon. But if you want to see any of the other ones, then let me know and we'll see what we can do. Anyways, for the Eevee tutorial. The blocks you're going to need are the following, you'll need spruce planks, brown wool, spruce sandstone, birch planks, black stained clay, black wool, white wool, sandstone slab, spruce wood slab, sandstone stair, birch wood stair and also spruce stair. So a lot of stairs and a lot of slabs. Okie dokie, so where we're going to start, I'll give you guys a brief second to grab them blocks into your inventory and then we'll get into building. We're going to start off by building the front side of the body. Now the front side of the body is 6 by 6 square. So essentially what we're going to do is find a nice empty area and we're going to start off by placing a row of 6 spruce planks. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as you can see. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 spruce planks. That is the first layer. For the second layer we're going to do the exact same. So we're going to place another layer of 6 spruce planks. For the third layer, starting from left to right, we're going to place one brown wall, four spruce planks, and one brown wall. And for the fourth layer, we're going back to how we started by placing six spruce planks. The fifth layer, we're going to place one birch plank, four spruce, and one birch. And for the sixth and final layer, we're going to place one smooth sandstone, one birch, two spruce, one birch and one smooth sandstone and once you've done that it will look something like this as you can see that is six tall and six wide and that is our front side of the body now if you know anything about eevee you'll know that this looks so far nothing like eevee of course eevee has all the fur around the neck and we're going to add that later on so that's going to be a 3d effect we'll add that later on for now this is the base of the model so again, it should look something like this, that is 6 tall and 6 wide and we're now going to start working on the sides and making this 3D before coming back and adding the 3D effects. So what we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner and come around to the left side. We're going to go 1, 2 to the left using spruce planks and then 1 brown wall. So the sides of the body are 6 tall and 4 wide, however the fourth row is already done here. This row is complete, which means we're only placing 3 blocks per row. Okie dokie, so starting off at the bottom, the first row, as you can see from left to right, is one brown wall and two spruce planks. On top of this, we're going to do four layers of three spruce planks, it's very plain, very simple. And for the final layer, we're going to do one brown wall, one spruce plank, and one smooth sandstone. Once you've done that, done. That's as easy as that. So it's six tall, four wide, and that is the left side of the body. Now the right side is of course the exact same, just mirrored, so if you want to skip ahead and do it yourself, you're more than welcome to, but I'm going to go over it nevertheless. Again, just a brief opportunity to pause, and there's a little side angle view as well. Okay, so as I said, the other side is the exact same, so what we're going to do is come around to the right side, we go 1, 2, whoops, 1, 2, there we go, second time lucky, to the right using our spruce planks, and then one brown wall. On top of this, we're going to do four layers of three spruce planks. And for the sixth and final layer, we're going to place one smooth sandstone, one spruce plank, and one brown wall. As you can see, exact same as the other side, and that is six tall and four wide, and from a corner angle, looks like this. Okie dokie, so making really nice progress. I will do a spin around later on, just so you guys can catch up if you are, I guess, uh, getting left behind a tiny bit. Hopefully you aren't, hopefully everyone's finding this. Pretty easy because it is ultimately a very, very simple build. So this brings us on to the rear side of the body. The rear side is a 6x6 square, just like the front side. However, left side, there's a pillar. Right side, there's a pillar. So two of the pillars are already done, which means we're only doing four because four plus two equals six. Now, I know that is mind-blowing how good I am at maths right there, but it equals six. So if we build four blocks in between, that is now six wide, 
and we're going to do this for five more layers. So it's simply just plain spruce planks. Now again, you may be asking, not accurate. Where is the tail? And we're going to discuss that again in a minute. So I know I kind of I kind of feel like I'm putting everything off and saying we'll come back to it in a minute, but we legitimately will. So that is the rear side for now. That is a six by six square. Corner, each corner is one brown wall, the rest is simply spruce planks. What we're then going to do, the final step for the body I guess before we start going a bit crazy, is fill in the top half with spruce planks and then once you've done that, that is it, that is the body so far. I'll get rid of my arm, we'll have a little spin around and then we'll discuss about all these crazy 3D things we're going to start adding. So again this is the front side, that is 6x6, six six. this is the left side 6x4, six rear side 6x6. Six and of course the final side, the right side, which is 6 by 4 Beautiful. So hopefully, again, you have something looking like this. If you don't, go back in the video, see where things have gone wrong. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll try and offer you some more personalized support. With that said, let's continue. So come to the front side, aka the side with the smooth sandstone and birch planks. And then come, come to the bottom left corner and place a 2x2 two two of spruce planks and do the exact same on the right side. So as you can see, 2x2, two 2-block two, two gap, and 2x2. Two two. What you're then going to do is on the left one, in the front left corner, replace one with brown wool. And on the right side, in the front right corner, replace one with brown wool. And on top of both of these, we're going to place another layer of spruce planks. So what that does is gives us two 2x2x2 two by two by two cubes of spruce planks with one brown wool on either one. And that is going to be our legs. Now the arms are pretty much the exact same, just a different placement of the brown wool. So what we're going to do is come up to the smooth sandstone on each side and place a spruce plank in between. On the left side, we're going to go to the left one. On the right side, we're going to go to the right one and punch out the original blocks in front of the sandstone. That will give you two little floaty blocks, as you can see, which connect up diagonally to the body like this. Focusing first on the left side, what we're going to do is go to the left one, down one, and to the right one, and that gives you a 2x2. Two two. We're then going to bring it forward to the layer, but... The bottom right corner is going to be a brown wall, and then the rest will be spruce. The exact same now for the right side. We go to the right one, down one to the left. In the bottom left corner this time, we're going to place a brown wall, and then we bring the rest forwards with spruce planks, and it will end up looking something like this. So now it's like a headless EV trying to give you a hug. And of course, this is where we're going to get a bit crazy with our 3D effects. So again, I'll give you a brief opportunity to pause before, as I said, we start adding a ton of stuff. So this is where you're going to need your sandstone stairs, birchwood stairs, and also you won't need your uh, spruce ones yet. But you'll need the slabs as well. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is go to the top left corner. Again, make sure at the front side, aka side with arms and legs. We're going to leave this block and this one, and we're going to come to the third and fourth block. And on top of, so this is a 3D effect, we're not replacing, we're not building into we're building on top of, we're going to place two birch planks. Underneath said two birch planks, we're going to place two smooth sandstone. And underneath two said smooth sandstone, we're going to place two upside down sandstone stairs. So we place them coming off of the sandstone block, and they'll be upside down and they'll look like this. This is the center point. So once you've got that, you've made a very good start. Going back to the two top blocks now, which is the two birch, on the left side we're going to place a sandstone slab on the lower half, and we do the exact same on the right side. Again, bear in mind it's on the lower half, and you'll still be able to see some of the birch planks behind it. To the left of that, then what you're going to do, and this is a bit tricky, as you can see, is you're going to place a stair facing towards the left side, not upside down, just a normal one. The way you do this, I guess, is just stand on the arms and build one like that and it will give you again something that looks like this and it'll give you a small gap in between the arm and the body underneath said stairs we're going to place a smooth sandstone block and that will give you a one block gap in between the smooth sandstone and the other smooth sandstone of which we're going to place an upside down birch wood stair and it will look now like this okay so the final step of this masterpiece Underneath each smooth sandstone, we're going to place an upside down sandstone stair. And once you've done that, that is all the fur around Evie's head complete. Makes it look a bit more bushy and a lot more interesting. And that now means we can move on to, of course, the tail. So again, brief opportunity to pause, catch up, do what you want to do. And then we're going to make some progress on the tail. 
Again, for this, you're going to need all your slabs, all your stairs, and come around to the rear side. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the bottom left corner, and we're going to count one, two, and come to the third block. Then what we're going to do is go up one, so we're on the second row, and we're going to place on the third and fourth block two spruce. Again, this is 3D. On the left side and the right side, we're going to place a slab, a spruce wood slab to be more specific, but again, it's on the upper half of the block, not on the lower half. Now, the final step for this layer, the just to point out, the tail, I guess, is made up of four layers. The final step for the first one is we're going to look away from the statue, and on the second and third block, the two middle blocks, we're going to place two spruce wood stairs facing towards the body. So it will look like this from the side, and that is the first layer, layer number one. Okay, so for layer number two, what we're going to do is, again, looking head on, Behind the two stairs, we're going to place two spruce planks. So we're now bringing out a second layer. As I said, this is layer number two. Then what we're going to do is go one to the left and one to the right. And above the second and third block, the two original middle ones, we're going to place two more spruce planks. And then underneath the two blocks, we're going to place two spruce half slabs. Now, I appreciate that is really difficult to see because it blends with the background really well but I'll try and give you as many angles as possible. Hopefully, it's very self-explanatory. Again, these two blocks in the middle are directly behind the two stairs we previously placed. Okay, so layer number three. Continuing now, what we're going to do is behind this spruce um, block here, we're going to place a birch plank, and behind the one to the right of it, we're going to place a smooth sandstone. Then, again, looking away from the main body, we're going to place a sandstone stair, two to be precise, on top of the two blocks we just placed. Again, facing towards the plush, the body of the plush. That now brings us to our final layer. So, what we're going to do is directly behind this smooth sandstone, we're going to place an upside down stair, sandstone stair, facing towards us. To the left of that, behind the birch, we're going to place one smooth sandstone. On top of said smooth sandstone, we're going to place a normal birch stair. And to the right of that, on top of this upside down stair, we're going to place a sandstone slab. Now the final block, just to cap it all off, is on top of this birch stair, we're going to place a half slab. And once you've done that, it will look something like this. Now again, I'll do a little like spin around of it, just so you can see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's made a really bushy tail. And it looks really, really cool, really organic, and I like it a lot. Okie dokie. So with that said, once you've done that, that is the body of the plush complete. We are missing a head, of course, and that's a bit horrific. But we will be adding one in a second. For now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is do a little spin around, and then we'll come back and add the head. So again, this is a good opportunity to catch up if you need to do so. And otherwise, just skip ahead a tiny bit in the video when I move on to the body. Or onto the head, sorry. I've already done the body. What am I thinking? Okay, so let me get my arm back and then we shall begin. So, the head is a 6x6x6 six by six by six cube. What we're going to do is come to the front side, to the top left corner, and right here on the smooth sandstone block, which is technically the first block of the body, we're going to place a spruce plank and bring it one forwards. On the right side, we do the exact same. So we come to this smooth sandstone here, this one. We go up one, one forwards, and then link together by placing four blocks in the middle. And it will now look like this. What we're then going to do is come around to the sides, and we're going to expand this backwards. One, two, three, and then for the fourth block, place one brown wall. Same with this side. One, two, three, spruce planks, one brown wall, and then link together four blocks in the middle by using spruce planks, and that will give you a six by six square now i'm filling in this part you don't need to this is just for demonstration purposes that is your square from here we're going to build up and make the whole head starting off of course with the front side so for the front side this is where we're going to need our white wall black wall and black stained clay the first layer is simply six spruce planks it should lay directly on top of this 3d effect here the second layer we're going to place one black wall one black stained clay two spruce planks, one black wall, and one black stained clay. The third layer, we're going to place one white wall, one black wall, two spruce planks, one white wall, one black wall. The next two layers, the fourth and fifth layer, we're simply going to place six spruce planks, 
And then for the sixth and final layer, we're going to place one brown wall, four spruce planks, and one brown wall. And once you've done that, that is the face, and that is a six by six square. Okie dokie. So once we've done that, what we're going to do is move on to the sides of the head. So we're going to come to the left side first, and we're going to come to the bottom left corner to this brown wall. From here, what we're going to do is build up four using spruce planks. So we go one, two, three, four. And on top of that, we're going to place a brown wall. And you can do this on the other side as well. You've got one, two, three, four. Place a brown wall and then just simply link together between the two um, brown walls on each corner using four spruce planks. So essentially, this will give you the template for the head. So everything inside these areas, you simply go ahead and fill in with spruce planks. So it's very, very simple. Just go ahead and place layers upon layers of four spruce planks. You just go around each side of the build doing this. Left side, right side, and of course rear side. And then we go on to the top side. And again, just fill in the gaps using your spruce planks. And this will give you a base or the basic part of the head, should I say. So what I'm going to do again is just have a little spin around and show you what it looks like so far. So this is again the front side, the face. Each side, bear in mind, is again six by six. Left side, coming around to the rear side now, the right side, and then ultimately the top. Now the top is looking a bit plain right now, and the head just looks a bit out of shape. And the reason that is, is because we're missing ears. So the way we're going to do the ears, is we're going to start at the front side, and we're going to come to the top left corner, to this brown wall right here. We're going to count one, two, and on the third block we're going to place, if I can grab it into my inventory, a spruce wood stair facing towards the right side. And on the left, on the third block, we're going to have one facing towards the left. So now, he kind of looks like he has a little antlers and he looks like a reindeer. What we're going to do is, I'll do the left side first and we'll go around to the right side. To the left of this stair, we're going to place a black wall. And underneath that, we're going to place a black stained clay. Underneath that, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. And also to the left of it, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. From here, what we're going to do is go up twice and to the right one. And that links together and gives you the front part of the ear. We're now going to replicate this on the other ear. So what we do is we go one to the right using black wall. We go down using black stained clay. And we're going to place a upside down stair facing towards the right. To the right of the black stained clay, we're also going to place another upside down stair facing towards the right. And on top of that, we're going to go up twice and to the left one using spruce planks. And that's part one of the ears. You could get away with that if you wanted to. But we're going to add a rear side to the ears just so it doesn't have the black on the other side because it's only on the front. So what we do is we come around to the rear side now. And we're going to again start on this ear here. So directly behind this stair, we're going to place a spruce plank. And we're going to go one to the right and down one. So three blocks in total so far. What we're then going to do is above this block here, so the middle one I guess you could call it, we're going to place a spruce wood stair, and to the right of it, we're going to place an upside down spruce wood stair. In the top right corner, we're then going to go ahead and place a spruce plank, and it's as simple as that. So just to recap it, there's three blocks here, three spruce planks. Above and to the side, there's two spruce stairs, and then in between the two stairs, there is a plank. Let's go over that one more time for this side. So behind the stair, we place a plank. We go one to the left and down. This plank here, so the second one, above that we're going to place a stair facing towards the right side. And we're also going to place an upside down stair facing towards the left. Then above this, joining them together, we're going to place one plank and it will link it all together like so. And that will give you the rear side of the ears. That will make them too thick and there should be a two block gap on the front and a two block gap on the rear. But most importantly, that is it. That is your Eevee plushy statue complete. And I really do hope you enjoyed. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to the Diamond555. Credit where credit is due. He's been working really, really hard on these plushy designs, helping me out of them. So I'll leave his information down in the description. Go show him some love and support. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be out on Saturday. Again, probably a FNAF Sis location video. And if you're in the market for some more Pokemon plushies, check out the playlist in the card system linked above. And stay tuned for next Thursday when I'm going to be releasing, I imagine, either a Lapras or exe Execute or Executor. I can't remember which one it is, but the Palm Tree version. So stay tuned for that. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, until next time, my name has been Tomogami and goodbye. Eyes
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?